There was Thomas Hearns, the World Boxing Council light middleweight champion, defending his title against Mark Medal. We'll be seeing that fight in just a moment. But first, it's the remarkable Roberto Duran. Now, he's the man who's still dreaming of becoming the first boxer to win world titles at four weight divisions. But in his way, ultimately, will be Marvin Hagler. In his way in Las Vegas was Hagler's younger brother, Robbie Sims. And Harry Carpenter is the commentator. The first major comeback fight of Roberto Duran, the extraordinary former world champion from Panama. Facing here, the brother of marvellous Marvin Hagler, wearing the red trunks, Robbie Sims from Brockton, Massachusetts, home of both Marvin Hagler and, of course, long before that, Rocky Marciano. And just look at those boots and the tassels on the boots that Sims is wearing. Vast improvement on the old Muhammad Ali tassels. Duran was 35 a week ago, former world champion at three weights and came very close to a fourth world title when he took Marvin Hagler, the brother of the man he fights tonight, 15 rounds for the middleweight crown room. Duran remains the only man to go the distance with Hagler in one of Hagler's title defenses. But he is 35 now and uh, the stories go in Las Vegas anyway that he doesn't train as hard as he might anymore. Can Sims handle him? Sims is the United States Boxing Association middleweight champion. And this fight, although it's not for that title, because uh, obviously Duran comes from Panama, this fight is certainly an eliminator for the middleweight crowd. And Duran, who's always been known as Hands of Stone, is putting those hands to good effect in this opening round. It's amazing to me to think that uh, it's now 15 years since Duran took the world lightweight title of Scotland's Ken Buchanan. 15 years ago, and here the man is still fighting at the top. A lightweight then, and a middleweight now. Almost two stone difference. For well, Duran says he wants another crack at Hagler and the man in front of him tonight is the man who bars his way at the moment Sims has knocked off one or two opponents in fancy a chance with Hagler Sims on the left wearing red rocking Robbie Sims they call him fight either way around Sims he's a switcher orthodox or southpaw the punches underneath from Durant the hands of stone going to work again so that was some finish to that round by 35 year old former world champion round two Sims in red. A pro for six years, Sims. 31 fights, 26 wins, 19 of those inside the distance. trying to thump the punches into each other's body. Good left hook from Sims. And Durant took it as though it was just a, a playful swipe. Let's go. 
typical American style of fighting. Close in, head to head, all hooks, and a good bit of elbowing going on. You're certainly not going to see any clean stand up fighting in this one. And there's no love lost between the two men either. 26 year old Robbie Sims, the brother of Marvin Hagler, and in the same stable, under the same management, the brothers. Goody and Pat Petronelli. Automatic in time, you're doing a hell of a job inside. Here, here, run. Shield is gone again. So Sims is uh, punching accurately enough around the chin of uh, the bearded chin of Duran as this tough close in fight moves to the halfway stage. Attack by Duran, round six. And Duran gives Sims what I can only describe as a look of total contempt as he turns to return to his corner. Lo gancho abajo, Cholo. Round seven. Duran. The three times world champion. <laughs> Sim's face looking very marked, puffed around both eyes. looking more and more discouraged. Huge bump now under the left eye of Sims, which is threatening to shut the eye. Still finding a few touches of the old form and the old class. Amazing fighter. Only a shadow of his form himself, but even that is good enough to keep him up in this sort of class. And he's really giving Sims a bit of a working over here. His head rubbing all the time in Sims' face, which is partly why. Sim's eyes are disappearing into mounds of flesh. Duran has got to be one of the toughest fighters the game has ever seen. So there's bruising battle between Duran and Sims. Sims in red. Continues into the eighth. No knockdowns. Two men who are not uh, accustomed to being on the floor.
your own punching generally has been sharper and more accurate than Sims. Sims now switching from South Porter Orthodox and back again. None of it having much effect on Duran. This really is a, a tough old ball. It's a sort of fight you'd never see in a British ring. They don't fight like this. Away goes Duran's gum shield yet again. And quite arrogantly, he stuck his chin up in the air as if to say, go on, I've lost my gum shield, now hit me. <laughs> Remarkable man, Mr. Duran. Flat broke, I'm told, despite all the, the big fights and the big purses that have come his way. And he grins at Sims. And over he goes. It's not a count. Left down. One point off here. One point off here. One point off here. A low punch. Low punch. All right, here we go. No knock down. Point off for a low punch. Duran shakes his head as he goes back to the corner. There we are, let's see that incident again. He was, uh, he hit Sims low actually. And that was why the point was taken off. And the official announcement has just been made. One point deducted from Duran's score, no knockdown. He hit Sims low. And very low, it looked from the replay. Well, Simpson's been going through a rough time and he'll be quite happy to have that uh, point deducted from Duran's score. Everything helps. won't be an easy fight for the judges to score because there's so much inside work and it's difficult to tell who's got the upper hand. Both men quite so heavily damaged to run the face. Duran's mouth, as you would expect, is sore and bleeding. He's lost his gun shield several times. And the flesh around Sim's eyes is well puffed up. And Sims looks hurt to me. Holding on and signaling to his corner. I think that he's hurt his hand. He was dangling his right fist as much as to say, I've damaged it. And Duran senses the chance. And like the old tiger he is goes to the finish. Good punch. Blood from Sims, nose and mouth. Sims is open mouth now. And finding out at uncomfortably close quarters just what it's like to go into the ring with Roberto Duran. And a lot of men have found that out before him.
a welcome bell for both these men. In what is proving to be a tough and brutal battle. So we come to the tenth and final round between Roberto Duran, three times world champion at different weights, and Rockin Robbie Sims from Brockton, Massachusetts, the brother of the world middleweight champion Marvin Hagler. Well, I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's a wise move for Duran to come back to the ring at the age of 35. He's given uh, a lot of uh, a lot of pleasure to a lot of people over the years. He's fought some great fights. He's proved himself one of the all-time great fighters. There really is nothing left to prove. And the only reason he's back, of course, is to get some more money. But uh, really, should he be doing this at 35? However, you have to say that he's still a tough handle, I suppose, for any fighter alive. Sims attempting to make the big finish, perhaps realizing that it is close. And that a grand slam finish could well make all the difference. trying to look almost English with that jab. And Duran moving his head this way and that as he's trapped on the ropes. Been through this a million times before and doesn't care. What a tough old fighter that man is. What a finish for this fight. Half brutal fight. Duran accepts the applause of the crowd as the likely winner. You may be right. It goes to the three judges from Las Vegas for decision. We have a split decision. Judge Bill Graham scores the bout 97-92. For Robbie Sims, Art Laurie scores at 96-94 for Roberto Duran, and Judge Jerry Roth has it 95-94 for the winner on a split decision here at Caesar's Palace, Rockin' Robbie Sims. And Robbie Sims has got the decision, a split decision, right, two Sims. judges to one. Sims, the United States Boxing Association middleweight champion, has beaten Roberto Duran.